Hello YouTube, how are you doing this week? I'm sure it's been a pretty busy uh, first few weeks for some of you guys. Earlier this month, I was fortunate enough to participate in a really fun Cali tournament. What's a Cali tournament? It's not what you're thinking. Yeah, some of you are thinking, is that a competition where a bunch of Californians get together and see who's the most Californian out of all of them? LA baby! Yeah, San Francisco! Central California! You would starve without us. Um, no. Cali is also known as Arnis or Screamo. It's a form of Filipino martial arts. They focus on like swords, knives, and even sticks. You've probably seen it in like movies like The Hunted or Born Identity. Um, that kind of martial arts style that they use in there are a form of Kali. Uh, in Kali, uh, really advanced fighters use empty hands, but beginners um, are trained with weapons. Why? They believe that beginner, beginner fighters or beginning students uh, need to learn how to defend themselves right away. So the best way to do that is with a weapon in their hand. Unlike other forms of uh, uh, martial arts where the beginner, the white belt, is usually you know taught basic katas and whatever, empty hands. Um, it's not until you become a black belt or close to it that you start learning how to use a sword, a sai, or whatever. Uh, the philosophy stems from the warrior culture and tribal culture of the Philippine Islands, which is where the martial art comes from. So I went to this padded stick and knife uh, tournament, which is uh, the padded stick is supposed to simulate a sword. And it was hosted by uh, Kill or Combat Instruments Limited. And uh, it was it was a fun tournament, honestly. It was, it was really great. There was like 28 competitors competing, uh, which is pretty decent size. There were different martial arts schools there, uh, one as far as San Diego. And the rules were simple. The, the padded stick really simulates a sword. So you treat it like a bladed weapon. Same with the knife, of course, it's a bladed weapon. Uh, the, the rules were simple. Uh, one point goes for whoever can hit the opponent. Uh, and not get touched for the next two or three seconds, basically. So if I slash you, I need to stay away from you for two or three seconds. Um, but if the opponent hits me back, then there's no point. And mutual destruction, meaning guys smashing each other, no points for that. Uh, and then also, but basically, yeah, they want to treat it where it's like a bladed weapon, where you get slashed, you don't get touched, and then in that two or three seconds, that's when your strike really registers in the mind of the, the opponent, and that's when they drop. That's the theory behind it. Some of the most points at the end of the one minute round wins the, wins the match. They then had 28 competitors, all from Southern California, and uh, it was great. We had one as far as San Diego. What was fun about this match was the strategy involved. It was kind of tricky because it, it's hard to like get in there and get out, uh, or even like engage someone and just try to make sure they don't hit you back right away. So there was a little bit of back and forth and mutual destruction, and eventually it was it was really uh, some for some people it was just the strategy of being able to get out because it's kind of amazing how your mind can take over, and once you're in there, some people they just get caught in. They get caught up in the moment and they just keep oh, nice. engaging nice. and they keep attacking instead of like yeah. just being able to like Third, yeah. boom, get out. To be able to control your instincts and uh, yeah, for some people the, the strategy worked and for some people it didn't. Nice. And sometimes nice. it's just like being able to rewire your brain to, to do what it wants, you know. What I also loved about this competition was the masks. There were some really excellent uh, masks that was being featured there. And you could tell that a good amount of guys were uh, comic book nerds, uh, myself included. There, were, uh, there I saw a guy uh, with the Deadpool mask, uh, Mars Attack, uh, Alien Head. I don't know if you guys seen that movie. A uh, Hello Kitty, and then some other anime uh, helmet, and then the Joker, and a really cool-looking Filipino flag-themed skull. And last but not least, there was also a guy dressed as Captain America. No one in the event was competing for an Olympic title or some national title or whatever. It was just good competition. And that's, that was a great part about it. Uh, people were still competitive, but still friendly in the end. They weren't being Nancy Kerrigan about it, you know? So, uh, yeah, the, the prizes were cool. People were really fighting for the prizes, uh, which the prizes were just various types of uh, weapons from Cold Steel. 
Uh, one was a spear, which is, you kind of see in the back. Uh, some tie sores and some machetes. Um, and there was like a solid steel knife. It was just one pure piece of solid steel. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, what did I win? I won the spear. It is a Samburu spear. It's uh, according to the box that it came in. It is a Samburu spear and uh, it's from a tribe in the northern frontier of Kenya. Uh, the, tr the warrior tribe is called the Lamoran or Lamoran. Lurmuran. Lamurin. 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 Ah, uh, I don't know how to say it. It's spelled L M U R R A N. If anyone knows how to say it, please share it at the comment box below. Thanks. Oh, another cool thing I got to do was throw that bad boy at a target. Here's a clip. Bile. So bile! Oh, crap! <laughs> That's a kill shot. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Headshot. Cool, right? Totally beginner's luck, but hey, I'll take it. Just, I'm just really glad it didn't like bounce back and hit me. You see how sharp that thing is? Just got me anywhere here. I wouldn't stop bleeding. It would take forever for them to wash off my blood off that cement. Yeah, speaking of washing, oh man. Now that California is in like a strict drought and the governor put some serious uh, restrictions on uh, for our water use, I really hope some people don't use that as, as an excuse not to shower. Yeah. I don't know why, but this popped in my head earlier that, you know, because there are some people who seriously need it. And when I say some people, I, I mean like active people also. Especially people who are doing any form of um, training that requires you to be in close contact with someone. Uh, training like, you know, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, MMA, or even pairs figure skating. Yeah. I mean, don't be that smelly guy in the gym or don't be that smelly guy in the mat. I've recently come across a guy who smells so bad that uh, when I walk into a room, I know he, he was in that room just by the scent that's still lingering in the air. Yeah, it's that bad. And you know, in, in Jiu Jitsu, I, I'd really avoid rolling with him. And it's, it, I know some people probably give me a hard time about it or like, oh, why are you being whatever. I avoid rolling him for two reasons. One, his scent clings to me even after I've showered. Yeah, that's right, I've, I've, I roll with this dude and after I've showered, shampooed, and changed my clothes and washed my hair, I still smell it just a little bit. And I, I swear, it's... Yes, it happens. It, it's gross. Uh, the second part is I don't want ringworm or any other form of infection or bacterial infection. I've had it before, and it's taken me out of the mat for like a couple of weeks until you know it cleared up and I didn't want to infect anyone else on the, in my gym. And so it sucks for me personally, so I don't want to risk it ever again uh, or try to avoid it as much as I can. So yes, think of your rolling partner and uh, use proper hygiene. But I just want to pass this along to new Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners and to people considering taking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just want to make sure that you guys you know, think of your training partners uh, because your training partner is definitely thinking about you uh, by trimming their toenails and their fingernails and doing proper hygiene on their body and washing their feet properly so as not to get you sick. Uh, so hopefully you do the same thing so you don't get them sick um, through mat-borne bacteria or other um, forms of infection that could happen uh, in this type of martial art because people are in such close contact when they train with each other. Oh, pro tip. This was told to me like the, when I first started. When you wash your gi, don't use bleach on your gi. Even white gis, uh, or even your rash guards and whatnot, or your spats. If you can, just add vinegar to your laundry load. So instead of uh, add detergent and then add vinegar. 
for me personally, I use an equal amount of vinegar to the amount of detergent that I use. But that's what works for me. So it really depends on your laundry load. And you might have to experiment a little on what works for you um, portion-wise for your vinegar and detergent because some people use different types of detergent also. So before I sign off, you know, um, if you want to read more about Kali, the Filipino martial arts, click right up here. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about how to conserve water because you're in California or some other uh, drought-stricken uh, area, click right here. Yeah. So if you have stories on Filipino martial arts, if you have horror stories on stinky training partners, if you have any water conservation tips, or even if you just want to share what you did this past weekend, please comment below. I'd love to hear them. And as if I find some really cool and funny stories, I would love to share them on one of my episodes in the future. All right? So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think also of the show by commenting on the box below. But please, 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 please hit that subscribe button and follow me. And uh, I'll have a new show for you next week. But for those people who have subscribed already, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, tune in next week, and I'll have another episode for you. This is Kali Kawal, out.